Welcome. This is a walkthrough for the 2016-17 SHSAT uh, workbook. This is Form B, Part 1. We are doing questions 51 through 60. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead and do that now. That way you stay up to date, stay up to date with all the new videos that come out. Also, if you don't have a copy of this test, you can get one at the link below. It's in the description. You can either print out the test or download it. All right, let's get started. So the first question is simple math. All right, we have to do 100 times the quantity 2 plus 0.1 squared minus 100. So we always start with parentheses. 2.1 times 2.1 is, let's see, 4.41. Okay, next step, we multiply that by 100, so that gives us 441, and we subtract 100, and that gives us 341, which is answer E. Okay, the new test, uh, if you're watching this after 2017, only has four choices. You'll see that this has five. All right, so the new test is a little bit easier. So these old tests are a bit of a challenge. Okay, number 52. Jack scored a mean of 15 points per game for his first three games. So how many points is that? 15 times three is 45. Then he scored 27. That's pretty good. And they want to know his new mean score. So we divide it by four. 45 plus 27 is 72 divided by four which is 18. And that is answer J. Okay, 53. How many units is the midpoint of PQ to the midpoint of QR? Okay, so PQ is negative 6 to 2. All right, the midpoint of that, right, you put these together, you get negative 4 divided by 2 equals negative 2. Okay, so our first midpoint is negative 2. And then we have Q and R, which is 2 and 6. That midpoint is just 4. Okay, 2 plus 6 is 8, divided by 2 is 4. They want to know how far it is from negative 2 to 4. Well, it's going to be 6 steps, right? Negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 6 steps. So that's C. Okay, 54. We need art supplies, okay, or school supplies, sorry. We need one notebook, which is $1.09. And we need what? Two pencils, which is 59 cents and 59 cents. It's going to be 27, 12, carry the one is two. So $2.27. All right, how many times does that go into $15? Well, I'm pretty sure it goes in six times. Let's see. Two times six, 42, 18. I'm sorry, 12, 16, 12, 13, 62. So 6 works. Can we get in another time? Let's just go ahead and add 227. Uh, no, that's too much money. So the answer is 6. We would have just kept going until we found one that was too big. And the previous answer is ours. Question 55. What time will it be 46 hours after 9.30 on Friday? Okay, I'm going to use a little bit of a, I don't know if you want to call it a cheat here, but I know 48 hours is two days. So two days later will be what, Sunday at 9.30 p.m. And then we just need to take off two hours, 48 minus 46. So subtract two hours, and you get 7.30 p.m. on Sunday, which is D. Okay, Judy is older than Carmen, twice as old as Francis. Francis is 15. They give us that? Nice. Francis equals 15. So Judy is twice as old as Francis, so Judy is uh, 30. Judy is n years older than Carmen, so Carmen is n years younger than Judy. So Carmen is 30 minus whatever n is, right, because Carmen is younger. So that'll be K. 57. Oh, we have to divide 102 by something to get it to equal to this. So we just need to count how many decimal places we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Look for one with five zeros. That would be B. 
right? You can just apply decimal places and zeros. 58, on a scale drawing, uh, one foot is represented by 0.25 inches. So 0.25 inches equals one foot. Um, actually, let's make it, this is a scale and this is like reality, okay? Let's see, how long must the segment on the scale drawing be? So we want to find this part. 36 inch distance, but we have this in feet, so we need to change this to three. Because 36 inches equals three feet. So the multiplier is just three here. One times three is three. So 0.25 times three equals 0.75, which is G. All right, we have a coordinate grid here. We have to find C plus A and D plus B. So what is C? C is the X coordinate, right? So it's going to be one. And A is the X coordinate here is negative two, which equals negative one. So that's our X. And D plus B. D is uh, the Y coordinate, one, two, three. And B is Y coordinate one, so we have four. Negative 1 and 4, which is which point? Negative 1, 4 is R. Last question. We have negative 51 squared, which is going to be positive, divided by 17 cubed. So I'm just going to make them both positive right now. 51 times 51, all right, that's squared, over 17 times 17 times 17. Okay, so 17 goes into 51 three times. So we're just going to do some simplification here. 1 and 3. 3 and 1. Okay, because it goes in 3 times. So now we have 9, 3 times 3, over 17, which is H. Okay, hope you've enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for part 2. Please remember to subscribe, and have a great day.